So. Tonight, for the month of October, we have a fairy tale called Felicity Fairy's Fun Family. So let's get started. <laughs> Once upon a time, there are twins, a twin boy and girl named Alice and Aiden. One beautiful Saturday day, they were playing hide and go seek with their brothers and sisters outside. They found a cave, they went in and went right to the end and hid there, waiting for someone to find them. After a few moments, they saw a light and heard a soft, hello, coming from the distance. Alice was scared. Who, who's there? That didn't sound like any of her brothers or sisters. After a few seconds, she realised that this light was coming closer and closer, and that it was coming from the end of the fairy's wand. End of a fairy's wand. <laughs> <laughs> What's a fairy? What's a fairy? Hello there. I heard some noise. Are you two okay? Asked the fairy. We're fine, thanks for asking. <laughs> but I don't mean to be rude, but are you a fairy? Of course I'm a fairy, silly. And look at you, your hair's all grey stuff. If you like, you can come to me, to my house, and we can get you cleaned up, and then you can have a nice hot cup of tea. <laughs> Alice's hands were also hurt, and the fairy seemed nice, so off they trotted down to the fairy's house. On the way, they, dis they discovered that the fairy's name was Felicity Fairy and that she lived in a mushroom on the, ed on the edge of the forest. It was nearly night time when they got there, so they got all cleaned up and went straight inside. And then they noticed that their hands weren't bleeding anymore and that they started to feel a little bit better. Is this because of your magic? asked Alice. Of course not, silly. It's because of the magic inside your body, not my magic. And did you know that when we hurt ourselves, our bodies are able to heal themselves. It stops bleeding and makes a new scar, just like on your hands. Did you know that our bodies also talk to us? When we're feeling tired or feeling sick, we can't play properly, can we? Well, that's because that's our bodies telling us to stop, to stop and to sleep so that we can play better. That's our body talking to us. Then we look after ourselves and we rest. And then we can play much more fun games and enjoy ourselves a bit more. So the next morning, Alice and Aiden woke to a loud coming from the door. There was someone at the door. It was a wizard! <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello there, you two. My name is Wilfred Wizard. I came to practice some of my magic spells. And seeing as you're here, would you like to give me a hand? Alice and Aiden nodded in agreement. After practicing about 10 spells, Wilfred decided to practice his invisible skin spell. So with a flick of the wand, invisibility, visibility. <laughs> All the twins now had invisible skin and were able to see inside of their own body. They could see everything, the brain, the heart, the lungs, the muscles. Felicity got so excited by this that she couldn't help but explain. This is the brain. It sits in the skull and helps us to think. It controls everything in the body. But that is a big job. Luckily, it has some help. This here is your spine. Inside your spine runs something called the nervous system. And the nervous system and the brain are friends. And they help our body to do everything that it can do. It helps you to dance, to clap, to sing, to play, to play hard and go seek. Alice and Aiden were learning so much. Alice never knew how magic her body was. But if they're friends, how do they talk to each other? Well, it does this through the telephone system. One end of the telephone is with the brain, and the other end of the telephone is with, is with every other part of the body. Have a look at your brother Aiden's foot. The brain can talk to the foot, and tell it to dance, to run, to skip, and to play. Or the book can tell the brain that it's trodden on something hot or sharp and that it's hurting. Alice and I have now understood. <laughs> Felicity! <laughs> young Wilfred. <laughs> Shouldn't we tell them about the potions? <laughs> what potions? The twins were worried. Well, there are three <laughs> potions that ignore the telephone system. These potions all have the same name, so don't you get confused. <laughs> they're all called potion F, and the F stands for what they're made of. 
The first one is made of food, bad food, like junk food and chips and chocolate and McDonald's. You can ruin the telephone. The second potion is made up of feelings. <laughs> feelings and bad thinking like lying and fighting and, and, and being mean can also damage the telephone system. The last potion is made up of falling. Falling like you two did yesterday. Hitting your head, slouching over, can also damage the telephone system. When the telephone line is damaged and the messages aren't getting through, this is called a subluxation. <laughs> no, it's a big word, but it's simple. These subluxations can make your body feel really yuck. They might mean that you have a sore tummy, asthma, a rash, a runny nose. You might feel sad or won't be able to play properly. Alice is still a little bit scared. But what if I get a subluxation? I want our telephones to be working well all the time. Felicity Fairy and Wilfred Wizard looked at each other. Never fear, it's okay. Let's go visit the chiropractor next door. <laughs> Felicity said in a calming voice. <laughs> and children, that's when Aiden, Alice, Felicity Fairy and Wilfred Wizard came into my practice. There I was, in a mushroom on the edge of the forest, I was just to get a leprechaun. <laughs> I think they were a little bit scared because I was just using my hands. But I told them not to be scared, that I was gentle, and that all I was doing was there to help them. <laughs> so, if you want your telephone to be working properly, chill, kill, kids, boys <laughs> <laughs> and girls, then visit your local chiropractor. I hope you've enjoyed today's fairy tale for October. And all the mums and dads in the room, Thanks for coming along. It's great to see that you brought your families to learn about chiropractic and for the kids to get a better understanding of what it's all about. So next month we've got another adventure chiropractic story time. So bring more kids along, bring their friends, and we'll have a lot of fun. <laughs>